Hello everybody. I would like to share with you guys some of the things that I received in the mail recently. Now I did receive this wonderful package which was bought by my husband to cheer me up for my infusion time and I am super thankful to my husband for buying me all of these which I had on my online card and he pushed it without telling me so I'm very very thankful but before I share the gifts that my husband got me I would also like to share with you guys the stamps and the matching cutting dies that came from AliExpress now I need to tell you guys that when I'm trying to buy a stamp set here in Australia, I need to pay like $30 and I am not kidding you guys. So if I were to buy a stamp set and a cutting die, I would have to pay $30 for the matching cutting die and the stamp set. It's that crazy. So when I found the stamp sets that I truly, truly loved on AliExpress, I just had to give it a go. So I have received this one here, which is like a Halloween theme one, but um, I'm thinking I can actually use these characters and the cotton candy stand and all of that throughout the year. So I got that and a matching die. So I am really excited to try these. And as you guys know, I am really into coloring these days. So I am looking forward to cutting the shapes out and coloring it. I also got this one. It's a sentiment one that says thankful, grateful, thank you in a bigger size and thanks in a bigger size. And it says, you have been so kind. You are a true friend. You really showed up for me. I'm so grateful. You are so thoughtful. So appreciate you, that kind of thing, which are the words and sentiments that I would always like to use. And I thought I could cut these out in many different um, colors. Like I could use different ink stamps to do different colors and also use these for making cards. So I thought this was just perfect. Then I also got this one. This one is super adorable and I really didn't know it was a large size stamp. So I am really, really happy with this. Now I'm not sure how they're going to stamp, but to be honest, when I look at it, I think they are really good quality. So it comes with all of these adorable sentiments down there and a um, really adorable froggy and the taco and the milkshake, the cupcake and the cookies, all of the things that my boys would like to color with me as well, probably. So I got that and the matching dye. So I'm very happy with those. Then I got this one. Now this one also has the Halloween feel, but a very cute Halloween feel. But also it comes with like bunnies and things. And my friends have like many of my crafty friends have cats and things. And the tree I can use throughout the year. And the, um, the spider web shape I can use that throughout the year. I could stamp several of these and make a border and so on and so on. And I really like the double-decker bus idea. I think this will be a really cute image to add to a card. And I don't really like that skeleton part there, but I can always cover that up with something else. You get what I mean? So I love that. I love the size of it. So let me now go ahead with you the things that I had on my online card, which my husband kindly pushed without telling me and it arrived on the day of my infusion so when i got back from hospital there was this parcel waiting for me but i was too tired and exhausted that i could not open on that day so i haven't opened um these things yet there's some ephemera packs here and i haven't gone through any of them yet you guys so i am excited to share with you guys what my husband gifted me so all I did was undo the um, sticker part of this washi pack. I got a Maggie Holmes Marigold washi pack and I really do love washi tapes, you guys. I really, really do. But do I love any kind of washi tape? No, I like washi tape that has the modern vintage feel. And I like washi tapes that I can easily use to add special touch to the envelopes if I'm sending out little envelope mails. And I love the color combination of this. Look at that, isn't that pretty? 
so so pretty i love how it's got like many different width like this one is a little bit um wider than this one and this is a stamp roll so i can cut them individually as well and put back it onto a cardboard piece to make it like a ephemera stamp pieces and i really really love this design so very much then there is this adorable swan tape swan just reminds me of the swan lake ballet performance that i watched many 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 years ago and i really really love this so very much and i also love these thin washi tapes these are so good for creating a line in the planner or journals and i love um double layering this on top of something more um, wider i love the colors here is a black and white one it's a rose pattern with the leaves so simple and elegant here is a pink one i love the shades of the pinks that are in here so so nice you guys and look at this it's foiled washi tape isn't that pretty look at that you guys isn't that pretty it's a bit glary isn't it but i really really love this and to be honest this is the only marigold stuff that i have i don't have marigold paper i thought i was going to be buying a marigold paper when it came out but I didn't, and I don't think we can buy it anymore in Australia. So, but I was lucky to find this. And I did also find the Marigold Ephemera Pack from this online shop. So, this one says there's 40 of it. And the reason why I also fell in love with this pack is the fact that it's like got many of the vellum pieces with the gold foiling. So I'm super excited to find out how they really are. So let me get them out. So there is this lovely vellum piece and it's really thick, you guys. Really, really thick. I love that. I really love all the foiling here and the floral colors. This is a really, really pretty bow. And the stamp images, oh my gosh, I love those. Could probably have thousands of those. And I love things like this. This is what I mean by modern vintage. You know what I mean? I really, really love it. And here is like some kind of receipt or ticket. Here's a bumblebee. And this one could be matched with the garden party, isn't it? Here is a journaling card. I love this um, old photo look. And then there are all of these vellum pieces. So pretty. Look at that. I love all of these vellum, as vellum pieces in here. They have so many. Look. And these ones. Some more vintage looking photos. And more journaling. Oh my gosh, I love these so much. And then the bottom compartment. Oh my gosh, I can see a really pretty deer. I did not know that there was this really pretty deer in this one. And this is also printed on vellum. I'm not sure if I can use this. This is just too pretty. I need like 10 of these. Now this one is a really pretty banner piece. And I love the size of it. Here is another vellum piece, and this one says together. Here is P for pair. And this one's got the perforated line. I can keep it together or separate it. And this one says, I must have flowers always and always. It's true. I love that. And here is a print of different butterfly shapes and the tag piece. Oh, I love this. I wonder if I can... No, I don't think I can put it in my mini happy planner. Remember I got a mini happy planner uh, from Lou? I don't think it'll fit there. But I love how it's got all of that little light print at the bottom. And look at these tag pieces. These tag pieces are really great size to do journaling on the front and back. Like front, I could add a little bit of um, photo, and then the back, I can write something. I love the color combinations, and I love that so much. 
And then here are more vellum pieces. This one says so sweet. Here is a gold cardstock of the ampersand. And, and here is the olden day camera, but it also looks like suitcase. And here is another vellum frame. I love that rose piece. I could have a lot of those. And then here is another journaling card, some tag piece, A for Apple. Oh my gosh, I love that one. And look at this one, so, so, so pretty. <clears throat> here is being with you is like being home. Oh my goodness, I love that so much. So there is my marigold bit of stuff. And then I saw this one. This is the Amy Tangerine. I don't know what collection this one is, but I love the size of the tiny puffy stickers. So I got that and it was a really good value for things being sold in Australia. This was like $4.95, I think it was. <clears throat> and then I saw this vellum piece. Now I'm going a bit crazy with the vellum pieces these days. I now know where to buy the pack of vellum, so I'm going to buy it when I really truly need it. So this one is a Tim Holtz ideology and it says 18 seams. So it's got these um, vellum pieces in here. But you guys, look at the size of this. And listen to that sound. It is so sturdy. And that's what I really, really love about this. So, so sturdy, you guys. Wow, look at that. Isn't that pretty? That is just amazing. I really did not know that it was going to be this thick. I love that botanic garden. Look at that. I might just... Can you guys see? Maybe if I go like that, it might be easier. Look at that. Wow, that's so pretty. So, so pretty. This might be easier with this. Look at that. Really, really wonderful scene. I am looking forward to creating with these. I originally got it to um, make it um, as part of a pocket for the journal. But you never know what I'm going to do with these. I might always change my mind and completely create something different. But I really, really love the quality of this. And it's printed so well. I love this so much. Look at this. Beautiful. Look at that. Now, I don't like everything that Tim Holtz has on sale, but I like these sort of things. I like some of Tim Holtz paper pads. Um, because it's modern vintage feel as well. I like some of Tim Holtz ephemera packs, um, but I don't really like like the real gothic type things, but I love things like this. It's just, this is so fun. I love that. And then I also got this. Now this is a Graphic 45. It says Midnight Tales. Now I really love Graphic 45. But Graphic 45 here in Australia is very, very costly. So when you want to buy a Graphic 45 paper pad, you really have to think about how much you love it. And when I saw this one, I said to myself, I really love how mystical and beautiful it is. So this one originally is designed for Halloween time, I think. But to me, it was like, fairy slash mystical, magical, wonderful, fantasy land, I don't know, special feeling. So I will show you. This one is an 8x8 eight eight paper pad. I just really, really love their paper quality and their image is so beautiful. So this is a witch, but to me, it looks like a lovely, beautiful witch. Okay, and here are some fairies hiding under mushroom. And then this is the other side. And that could be used all year round. It's a black and white paper. And you get several sheets of the same design. Here is a pumpkin page, which can be easily used for the fall.
time. This side, you can use that for card making background paper easily. And I just love this design. Here is a cut apart sheet. And look at this witch. Isn't she the most beautiful witch you've seen? So pretty. And have you seen a fairy riding a bat? I mean, look at that. This is why I really, really love it. And these, these creatures here, I don't know what they're called, but they are just so, so adorable. They're almost like monkey looking fairies. Look at that. But I just love it. And the back color, the back paper is so nice as well. This kind of shade of green is just amazing to me. I really love this so very much. And maybe one day I will get to collect some more of these stuff. I don't know. But look at this purple color. It's got the stamp images of the moon and different fairies and mushrooms. And I love the pattern, this orange pattern. Look at that. So you get several of those. And this is another um, really interesting looking page. You get several of those with the stripes. And here is a floral page. I mean, the colors are really stunning. They're nice and bright. They're really happy colors to me. And look at this page. Isn't that wonderful? I love it so much. I really, really love these so very much. And these are all the cut apart pieces I can use. And that's the other side. And you get several of those. And you even get like templates on the back as well and the front. See? Look at that. I really, really am in love with this paper so much. And then I also had these on my cart. Now this is a Doodlebug um, design company and it's called the Fairy Garden. I do love anything to do with fairy particularly. And I have always liked Doodlebug, but I don't buy them all the time because Doodlebugs are a bit more costly in Australia too. So I only get it when I really absolutely love their design. And so I had this on the cart thinking one day I was going to buy it, but my lovely husband bought it for me. So I am super, super thankful to him. So one pack is sentiment and one pack is images. And you get 192 pieces in this image pack and you get 93 pieces in the chit chat one. Oh, the chit chat one says hippity hoppity. I thought I was getting the fairy garden, but anyway, I think I could probably mix and match. Doesn't matter. So I did not go through this and I wanna show it to you guys. So I'm basically sharing my opening moment with you guys. Look at all of these light bulbs. You get two of them. And when you have a really long piece like this, you do not have to use them as one long piece. You can cut them into threes. You can cut it in half. Do whatever you want, okay? And then this one. And large pieces like this. Again, if you want to fussy cut the fairy out and use the flower piece somewhere else, you can also do that as well. So you can even get three lots out. One, two, three. That's what I do sometimes. And you guys know I love anything to do with rainbow. So this pack was just perfect for me. It's got many rainbows in here. And some of these rainbows are large enough for me to turn them into shakers even. And I love anything to do with bumblebees as well. And this pack has many bumblebees, I believe. Let me see if I can find some more. But it, yeah, look, look at all of these. Aren't they adorable? And then there is hedgehogs, mummy and a baby one, some more bumblebees, and it's got many different insects. This one almost looks like it could be a dragonfly, butterfly, really, really adorable. And there's like snails in different colors and lots and lots of floral pieces. You guys know I love utilizing flower shapes in all most of my crafting because flowers makes me smile. Look at that. Look at all of these floral pieces. I mean, there's just so many. And I, I even see ladybugs. There's like several ladybugs in here as well. Some more different insects, like different size ladybugs. And you get cute little birdies as well. And you get different size 
froggies and some different clouds and different color clouds and you get like tiny little mushrooms mushrooms of all sorts of design so much in here you guys and you also get like um, picket fences and some garden signs and i really like this mason jar here is a froggy in the pond here are some adorable, adorable fairy girls. Love them so much. Look at this one. Isn't she pretty? And some trees. Wheelbarrow. Froggy. Here's a fairy garden door. Different butterflies. More bumblebees. More snails. I mean, you guys basically get the picture, don't you? But look at this mushroom house, the um, wishing well, pretty fairy sitting on the um, tree stump, adorable, and lots of sunshine and happiness. Um, and then here is another fountain, different types of tree. <gasps> look at this rainbow, so pretty. Oh my goodness, I can have so much fun with these. Look at this fairy, fairy on a swing. I didn't know that one. I love, oh my gosh, more rainbows. Look at that. And all of these little tiny pieces, I can layer them and all sorts. So I am super happy with that. I've just got so much stuff I can make. Not enough time, that's the only thing. This one comes with really great size words, like happy, sunshine. These are really great border pieces for the journal pages, you know, to add to the edge of the um, paper, um, edge of the big page. Well, you can cut them in half. And then, what does this one say? Beautiful. Now, when you have a long piece like that, you can cut like there and then add the rest of it underneath to make a card or like a title page for your journal and stuff so these really don't have to be used as the way they come it's really entirely up to you you just use your imagination you glue it the way you want it to look magical i love all of these words hello there's garden and when I had these on the online card, I was actually thinking I could use these with the garden party paper too, because fairy and garden, they just go hand in hand. So I'm gonna do that one day. And there's so many pieces with rainbow, you guys. You color my world. Oh my gosh. Now, I think I have to move some of this for you guys to be able to see. Move that out of the way. I'll show you some of the big pieces. Look at that. And then this one says sweet. Love all of these um, little ladybugs. This one says thanks a bunch. Fairy loved. Oh, this kind of does match the fairy garden. But the um, thing said hippity hoppity, so I thought it was like an Easter pack, but I think it's not. Sunshine. This one says especially for you so nice you are my sunshine the sweet life and these are also like these little bits they're really easily added to the letter mail because they're nice and flat and they're like such great sizes so other recipient can do whatever they want with them i love all of these um banner bits all of these fishtail banner bits these are really nice and there's so many of them, you guys. You're unbelievable. <laughs> that one's really nice. Our beautiful girl, dearest with love. You brighten my day. Happy birthday. You make me happy. Look at all of these colors. I love the color scheme of the Doodlebug Design Company. Really, really pretty. Happy birthday, have a magical day. I can just create a lot with these. 
You are a very good friend. I love that. Oh my gosh, I love that. And this one has rainbow um, border at the top and the bottom, and it says, hello, sunshine. Oh my gosh, you're so sweet. Have a good day. Bug catcher, love this. Hello, sunshine. And look, here are some larger stamp images as well. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am going to have so much fun. And I'm going to combine these because I really don't need to have them separate. They're all like similar color scheme. And I am going to really enjoy creating with this pile, you guys. So thank you everybody for sharing this wonderful, joyous time with me. And I hope you have a wonderful day, everybody. And if you have anything that you'd like to get from here just in case i will have these products listed down below so that you guys know the name of what i got today thank you so much bye